It was a big day for Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed chairing the first congressional hearing on the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. The defense secretary and the chairman of the Joint Chiefs faced tough questions from Reed and other senators on the Armed Services Committee about the evacuation. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter has been watching the hearings all day and has a breakdown of what you need to know. Courtney? Well, it was a heated hearing before the Senate Armed Services Committee on Tuesday, with many lawmakers focusing on the final months in Afghanistan. Senator Jack Reese said the question is, how did we get here? U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, as well as top Pentagon leaders, the head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and head of Central Command all testified over the Afghanistan troop withdrawal, the longest war in U.S. history. Let me call the hearing to order. Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed, the chair of the Armed Services Committee, opened the hearings Tuesday morning, emphasizing that the committee should examine how to avoid making the same mistakes again. After nearly 20 years of war, enormous sacrifice by American and coalition military, diplomatic and intelligence personnel, and vast U.S. investment, the Afghan state has failed and the Taliban has taken control. The hearing featured questioning from lawmakers on both sides of the aisle, as well as both sides criticizing the Biden administration for his withdrawal of U.S. troops last month, including the Kabul airport attack that killed 13 U.S. service members and 169 Afghans. President Biden last month in an interview said that no military leader advised him to leave a small troop presence in Afghanistan. Is that true? But Defense Secretary Austin and General Mark Miley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, defended the withdrawal. I, I think our credibility remains solid. While there is a temptation to close the book in Afghanistan and simply move on, the United States faces new and evolving threats around the world. To overcome them, we must first understand what went wrong. Now, Democratic Senator Tim Kaine argued during the hearing that the president made a, quote, gutsy decision to end the war. But afterwards, the chairman of the Republican National Committee issued a statement saying in part that, quote, President Biden lied to the American people and he must be held accountable. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.